core GRM. They are 6.04 dollar versus 4.85 dollar last year. So the core GRMs are strong. Now uh, going forward, I think it should be in that range of around seven dollar or so. Okay. But it will depend on how the crude prices behave because if the crude prices are high, the cost of the fuel which the refinery consumes will come higher. Okay. So that impacts the GRM, the refinery. So what level of the crude prices remain? That is one important issue. And how the cracks behave? Mm -hmm. This is the second issue. And the cracks, as uh, we have seen that, except HSD, the other mm -hmm. products, the crack came down. So only HSD was the only product in which the cracks went up. Now it depends on the product mix of okay. the different refineries that how the, whether the GRM will be favorable because of cracks or not favorable, depending on what is the product mix which you have. And of course the crude prices, because if it is substantially higher crude price, the fuel cost will be higher. Okay. You spoke about uh, integration of MRPL with HPCL. What are the proposals? What What is the transaction being discussed upon? And what will be the timeline for it? No, we are discussing with ONGC. We are, both companies have to yet to take to board the proposals. Mm -hmm. But we are definitely discussing both the companies to create the values for the uh, two companies and mm -hmm. the share stakeholders of all the three, uh, three companies rather mm -hmm. in uh, bringing the synergies. Mm -hmm. And in that, MRPL is also an important item which is under discussion. So the exact modalities and the mechanism, it has to be concluded. Mm -hmm. And once it is concluded, then we will take it to the board for approval and then there is a process which is to be followed. So let's see if we can conclude something in this financial year, then that will be good. You did a pause of uh, price revision from April 24 to May 13th and then there's a surge in both petrol and diesel prices. It is almost over two rupees in the past seven, eight days. So for a common person, can you explain wh why there is increase in the prices and why there was a pause and how much hit can you take with those pause? So many times companies also need to see that if the spike is just a momentary spike or it is a sustained spike. Mm -hmm. If it's a momentary spike, you may decide not to increase it or pass on the full impact. And when it comes down, also temper it down so that there is a stability in the market. Mm -hmm. But it's obvious that those types of spikes are going to be sustained. Are there a series of events which are happening where the possibility of containing the price are not there, then you got no choice but to pass on. Okay. So based on that, we decide that whether uh, the prices are held or prices are increased. Now, what we are seeing is there is a continuous increase prices and it is sustaining for a longer time and on a 15 day average basis the impact of that increased prices are becoming full impact that's why the prices are to be passed on so we need to see the overall basis how the profitability of the company is mm -hmm. maintained we need to see that how the consumer is not consumer is able to afford the thing mm -hmm. and he is not uh, put to a, a uh, inconvenience where we if we have a way not to put him to inconvenience mm -hmm. But the third part of it is we also do not have a wherewithal mm -hmm. that if the prices are continuously increasing, not to pass it on because we don't have any way to absorb anywhere. And in this whole thing, the taxation is also one of the elements, mm -hmm. which is of course the government subject. Mm -hmm. So end price which the product, uh, the consumer pays is a sum total of all this effect. Okay. So my last question to you is that government has an option of excise duty cut or the states can cut their VAT, but what are the other options to bring in relief for consumers? Is there any possibility to cut uh, the dealer's margin or maybe put a pause there and uh, do a reimbursement or is there any other formula apart from daily price revision? See, any formula you work out, you need to see the practicality of implementation also. The major component is the price the product price per se international price mm -hmm. and the taxation okay. and if we have to give relief international prices are not your control taxation is one of the element mm -hmm. of course the government have to look at their budget also but these are the three elements which we need to see we need to ensure that our financial health is there so that we can perform we can cater to the requirement okay. we can cater to the increasing need of the country mm -hmm. and we also operate in a commercial space so yeah. we need to maintain the health of the company that is important for us all right, so that was the management.